Honda hopes the Accord Tourer will tempt buyers out of their BMW 3 Series and Audi A4 estates. It's certainly priced closer to these premium rivals, and the company says the standards of ride, handling and quality can match them too. There are three sizes of engine, two and 2.4 litre petrol units and a 2.2 diesel that's available with 148 or 177 brake horsepower. They're all smooth and strong. Refinement is also very good and the absence of road and wind noise is highly impressive. Honda reckons that an Accord Tourer's natural habitat will be the motorway, so it's set the suspension for comfort rather than sharpness. It's quiet and compliant most of the time, although the ride is a little jittery around town. Push the car hard through bends and it will start to run wide, but generally it holds on well. The steering can be numb, but it weights up artificially as you turn. The dashboard isn't a great success, presenting you with a vast array of virtually identical switches. However, Honda is justifiably proud of the comfortable, multi-adjustable seat, and the relatively slim pillars are another bonus, leaving a good view. Passengers are well catered for and the rear seats are almost as comfortable as those up front. As estates go, the Accord Tourer doesn't come close to class giants, such as the Ford Mondeo or Mazda 6, for boot space. There's extra underfloor storage in the boot, but even so, the Accord can't even match those premium rivals from BMW and Audi. Do you see the Accord as a rival to an Audi A4 or a Mazda 6? Depending on your answer, prices are either quite cheap or outrageously expensive. On the positive side, though, resale values are closer to BMWs and Audis, and the Accord shouldn't break down or fall apart as the miles mount. The cabin trim feels solid too, but the car doesn't have the depth of quality of some rivals. The Accord Tourer has strong engines, a compliant motorway ride, lots of space and plenty of kit on most models. However, there are niggles. It's expensive to buy, the dashboard is confusing and the basic ES trim misses out on a few important items. As a result, the Accord is not a serious rival for cars from the premium brands. And while it deserves its place on any shortlist, you should always look at the class-leading Mazda 6 as well.